Hi, it's Christian. In this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can control the iPad app on song using Ableton Live. I do this in my live setup so that I can automatically change chord charts on the iPad in front of me. I'm just going to show you how you can configure your MacBook and your iPad and on song to do this. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. And then on your MacBook, you need to go to the Audio MIDI setup window. So if I go into the MIDI window here, and I want to make sure that I've created a MIDI network between the two devices. So I go into Network, and because they're both on the same Wi-Fi network, Christian's iPad is showing. And I click Connect, and I've now created a MIDI network between my MacBook, KP's MacBook, and Christian's iPad. And it shows me the latency there. So then I can close that one, and I can come out, and in my Ableton template, all I've simply done is created... Uh, a MIDI trigger, a column down here called on song, and if I click into there you'll simply see if I shut the fold, I've got two notes that are triggering off here one at the start of the song which is D sharp minus two and then I've got D minus two and these two notes are the same for every song in my Ableton template regardless of the song at the moment um, and that will trigger off those two notes so the next thing we need to do is go into our iPad and Here's a mirror of my screen and launch on song. Okay, and then the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go into add ons and purchase the MIDI integration. So I've got that purchased. And then if you go into editors, you can go into the MIDI actions for MIDI events. And these are the notes which I'm sending from Ableton to on song. And as I, uh, if this screen was blank, I could simply fire off the notes and the notes would appear straight away. So you'll see that the notes get translated slightly. So the note which I said in my Ableton screen here, which was D sharp minus two, by the time it goes through the Apple's MIDI network, it actually translates it up to D naught and D sharp naught. So you don't need to worry about that. And then if you go into that note, you can choose what that function is going to be. So my function is toggle auto scroll for the D0 and for D sharp 0 it's go to next song. So once you've got that set you're pretty much in control of on song using Ableton. So when on song receives this note here it'll go to the next slide and when it gets the toggle auto scroll note which is D0 it'll start the auto scroll toggling. So let me close that and open up my set to show you how this works. So I've got a blank screen that says start of set and here's my on song demo. So if I was to trigger let it be known, as I press that it's going to trigger the note via Wi-Fi and change the page and start scrolling. So let me show you that one. Let it be known. There we go. So the screen changed automatically and it's starting to scroll in time. Um, so it'll get me down to the bridge three, by the time four. I need to play bridge. Okay, let me go to the next song, you are good. There we Intro. go. Change for you one, are good. Two, three, four. And started the auto scroll, go on to the next song. Ready for you in A. There we go, ready for you. Guitar, two, worth it all. three, four. Intro, two, three, four. So, really quickly, just that's how it works. Let me just go back over setting it up. So, you go into editors and go into MIDI. And when you go into yours for the first time, yours will be blank. So, let me just show you what that'll look like. So yours will be blank like this. Now if I was to trigger Let It Be Known Intro. in Ableton, Three. as it plays those two notes, there we go, as each of the notes came in, we had a start, it also then showed us the two notes, and then the stop. So if I can now assign those notes, so if I go into the D-sharp note and make that next slide, um, or will it be next song, sorry, next song, um, and then I can go into the start on, sorry, the note on D0 and make that auto scroll, toggle auto scroll. I can then close that one, go back to the start, and again as I press let it be known, let it, be known. it moves to the next song and started scrolling, go to you are good. And Intro, exactly the same one, two, three, four. Been chatting to the guys in on song about assigning a MIDI note to each song. So then um, we wouldn't have to just have our songs in the right set. The way this works at the moment is you have to have your songs 
already created in a set and then the MIDI notes are just moving it to the next page and starting auto scrolling. Um, hopefully the guys on song can allow us to assign a MIDI note to every song in our songbook and then whichever track you trigger it'll jump straight to the right song. Um, as soon as they do that I'll do a tutorial and show you how that works. Um, any questions drop me an email and God bless, take care.